Hello everyone, and welcome back. My name is Nicholas and this is Major Crit. And we are about to try our very first night expedition. Uh, hey, there you are. Are you supposed to be out collecting glow slap? Yes, let's go do that. These areas have been approved for night expeditions. Uh, Sun Speckled Terrace. Uh, Ancient Arches. Oh, okay, so each base is a different... Level. Alright, let's 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 see how this works. What are we doing with it? Since that's not quite here yet, so you can breathe easy for a little bit. Hehehe. <laughs> How's this gonna work? We've seen the previews, we watched the Nintendo Direct, we've seen the Glow Pikmin. But, just because we've seen the Glow Pikmin, that doesn't tell us pretty much anything. And they got all these little, you know, challenge mode things with the Dandori and the other type of Dandori, now these things. Alright, so there's a little, little candy things to pick up. Monsters all over the place. It doesn't look too bad, though. I'm assuming it'll get worse. There it is, new blood. That is a luminol. When dawn breaks, it will release an extract. I'll use to make that medicine. But as luminol is destroyed, we won't harvest any extract at all. All you need to do is protect the luminol until morning. Simple, right? Hey. <laughs> Hey. Well, well now, what's this? These little guys weren't here before. Let's observe them and see what they do. Look at that! It propagated more! Are you thinking what I'm thinking, new blood? Glow Pikmin, Ghost Pikmin. Yep, those little guys sure look like a new variety of Pikmin to me. They're kind of glowing, so Glow Pikmin seems like an appropriate name. They teleport around. Oh, and a bunch more. Hey, 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 they're rather fond of you, new blood. That's perfect. You and these little guys can protect the Luminol together. Huh? That star-shaped fragment from earlier, let's call it a glow pellet. Try carrying those to the Luminol to see if we can propagate more glow Pikmin. Hungry. I leave it to you, then. <laughs> yeah, about the glow Pikmin, you'll need more. Alright, nice. And they hatch pretty quickly. Hatch. Yeah. You know what I mean. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah, they just teleport back to me. That is super useful. Do they always... Oh, don't take your eyes off the luminol. Hey, 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 it's about that time, new blood. Ah, uh, yep, glow eyes. Death glow eyes. See how the creatures become more aggressive at night? They're drawn in here by that irresistible glow. Watch out now! They'll come for the luminol, so don't let them break it. Ah, they're heading this way. For now, collect glow pellets and propagate more glow pigment to build up your protective forces. The creatures will keep attacking until dawn, so do your best to take them out. Okay, it's up to you, Ot Ochi Nicholas. Good luck. is all right so we can see them glowing on the map and nope we can see them here as well as long as well as all the pellets oh and there's more luminols all right all right all right come on Ochi. Nope. no come on up and then hut and then hut yeah night radar yeah, see him down there. All 
right? Pellets can be carried here too. From the look of it, this could be a juvenile form of aluminol. If that's the case, then it's possible this could be connected to the aluminol below ground. Maybe it could serve as an interim drop point when transporting glow pellets from far away. Additionally, it seems like it could act as a decoy for the creatures to keep the new aluminol safe so we can push forward. Alright, that's nice. So we don't always have to be going back to base. It's small, but it shines quite brightly. Why don't we call it a tricknol then? Good thinking. Try using it as a decoy, an interim dark point. Come on, Ochi. What are you doing, man? Yeah, Ochi's been hurt. What I'm trying to figure out is... Can you guys do that? Yeah, you can. Oh, what do you have a problem with? Oh, he's just like fighting like everyone. Come on. How are we doing? Oh, oh it takes me a while to recharge that. Now, okay, now I know why Ochi needs to be able to fight better. Oh! This one, is he coming for... Or no, he's passing by... The other one. Oh. Oh, I'm trying to... Ah, man. Ochi knocked out. That's a pain. Oh, no, Ochi. Let's hurry and get the portal pup back to base. You're on your own for a bit, but don't give up on your mission. You can do this, Nicholas. We'll let Ochi rest at the base for a while. I'm sure he'll be fine. Yeah, this could have gone better. There's just so many of these guys coming in right now. And a big one. And there's another Cricknoll over there. What's happened? I'm impressed you defeated all those creatures. I wasn't even sure you'd survive the night. So it's just survival, I guess. So it doesn't matter how far I pushed as long as I made it through. <laughs> Here it comes. Pay attention, new blood. Unless, will I get more based on how many things I made? How many glue pigment I got? That is a condensed luminol extract. It's very high in de uh, decorative enzymes. I believe we should call it glow sap. It's a critical ingredient for the leafling cure. Gather with care, new blood. Oh, wow. Look, the glow pikmin have come to see you off. Do they want to follow you back to the rescue command post? Ah, oh, they're turning into little seeds. My my, what's this? Glow pikmin turn into seeds? Hey, 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 I need to study this up close. Please bring some back with you. All right, now let's see. Well, we need to do that like once per rescued leafling? Or like how much will one night's worth of glow sap do for us? Let's find out. All right. Drop them off.
Oh, so it was just a certain number of creatures defeated them? What a fruitful harvest! From one glow sap, I, I can make exactly one cure. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so one per one. Oh, and that gives us pup drive as well. And seeds. Not sure what that's for. So, how was your first venture out onto this planet at night? Um, eh, pretty fun. A little bit stressful at one point. Hey, 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 good, good. What a surprise, though. You met a whole new kind of Pikmin. Before you rescued me, I'd never seen a glow Pikmin myself. I can only assume the Pikmin took a liking to you, new blood. You two should get as much help from them as you can. You are helping them protect their luminols, after all. Though, I'm not sure you've got this night expedition thing fully under control just yet. Perhaps I'll go ahead and select the luminols for you to retrieve glow slap from until you are. Hey, hey, hey. Ahem. I'd like to remind you that you are not allowed to overwork my crew. Alright, so we're gonna save the first person. Let's see, will it be our pilot or will it be someone else there? Right, administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain? No, it doesn't look like one of ours. Dash, professional spelunker. He's known for saying, you can always find me in the pits. He'll take the leap in any cave, no matter how dangerous it is. Our work doesn't end here. It's our duty to care for and protect anyone we've rescued and hear what they have to say. Okay, where's... Where is the person? Let's go all the way over there. No, no, that's a flower. Sorry, I saw something flash in it, like just come in and out of um, focus. Where are they? Oh, he's up here. No, no, no. no. There we go. That's what I wanted. Wow, I've been drawn to caves for most of my life, but I haven't run into danger like this in a long time. My life's quite precious to me. Thanks for helping. After all, I can only poke around in caves as I'm alive, right? Oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Dash. I've explored all over the universe, thanks to my family's deep pockets. Uh, the captain warned me that she'd be very angry if I got stranded again, so I can't go exploring any caves. Oh, hey, I just had the best idea. Starting right now, I'm going to recognize you as my top, well, only, pupil. I need you to explore the caves around this planet on my behalf. You'll have to make it through them all the way to the exits. I see you've already made your way through several caves. I would expect no less from my star pupil. Your attitude? The way you take on these caves so enthusiastically? It's like when I first discovered the underground world. Only too short of another reward. Alright, so we got rewards for doing most things now, really. How much do we have again? 54. Mm. Honestly, tough stuff for Ochi might be good. Ooh, on the other hand, also, do we have... We've got two things of this. Alright, I think I might get the health one. Or damage one? Let's see. What do we got? Super bu... Uh, no. Uh, big Chomp takes three. Okay, that just makes him jump. Big damage. More damage. Heals three points as well. Yeah, I'm, I want to focus on the damaging stuff right now. Let's do another night expedition. Okay, rugged scaffold. So we're starting over here at area two. Right, and I should do what I've been saying I should do. 
Uh, there's that one Pikmin I grew, and now I'm abandoning. Um, so first off, let's see what the seeds do. Is that like our starting amount? And then we should actually be, before we get going, looking at the map to see where to go, what the breast direction is, um, and stuff like that. So we'll just, you know, grab the ones that are immediately next to us. Immediately. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. So there's something else I figured out about the glow pigment. Is it the thing I was doing last night? Yeah, as you can see, glow pigment emit a very powerful light. You can use X to gather your glow pigment until they melt together and form one large glowing ball. Release them all at once and it creates a luminous and literally stunning effect, which I call a glow mob. One flash of that overpowering light and you will witness all kinds of creatures cowering under its dazzling glow. Hehehe. <laughs> Remember the glow seeds you picked up the other night? I took the liberty of putting them in your pack. Let me show you how to use them. First, select a glow seed from your pack. When you throw it, it will instantly create a glow pigment. Of course, they'll only work at night or in caves, so don't forget that. Oh, so we can bring them out in caves as well. Alright. I might not use them then. Alright, let's have a look at our map. So we got a one right there. So let's go backwards first, and then we'll go forward. Nope. Wrong. Um. Keep it on the map. Nope. <coughs> the danger is setting in. Okay, wake that up. Okay. Music's ramping up. He's attacking our base. We've got a problem. The luminol is under attack. If it takes too much damage, we won't get the med medicinal greens we need from it. Get rid of those creatures, new blood. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, I was hoping. Is there no... Yeah, there's no luminol over... There, alright. So, they'll only be distracted by the distraction, I guess, if they're in the right direction from it. Oh, more guys coming. Faultlessly, but we did get it. All right, now there's more coming from that direction. Okay, nice and easy. Nope. No. Oh, gee, you're never the one I want to have doing that. We can do this, though. Oh. 
Come on, no. guys, come on. I'm trying to send you forward. No, go. No, don't hang out with me. Go. All right. Yeah, I thought that might be the last one. I'm impressed you defeated all those creatures. I wasn't even sure you'd survive the night. Nicholas, Ochi, you did it. All right, new blood, go collect that glow sap. Phew. Interesting. I feel like I did better that time. I did lose a thing as well because I was going too far off the field to try to get more guys. And that ended up being a problem because then I didn't have enough guys with me, so then I couldn't swarm properly, which is really what you want with Pikmin is to get that big swarm hit. Alright, who we got? Who's being saved this time? Nice. Good work. Hey, hey, hey. Looks like you're getting the hang of these night expeditions. I think you're ready. Next time you venture out, you can go wherever you would like to collect glow, glow slap. The search for our pilot starts in earnest now, too. Rescue as many leaveslings as you can. Let's cure them all. Uh, so what about that? Uh, so about that. Uh, let's stop and think for a hot minute here, okay? It's possible Bernard hasn't turned into a leafling yet. What do you mean? I spent a lot of time thinking about it. Yes, that leafling with a dog was chasing me, and yes, that's when I realized Bernard had disappeared. But that's all. What I'm saying is I never actually saw him turn into a leafling or anything. Oh, interesting. Then, uh, what should we... Look, at the very least, if we can catch that leafling, then we might be able to get a lead on Bernard's whereabouts. I see. Okay, the search for that leafling is your top priority, Nicholas. Copy that. Oh no, I... I was meaning to never ever say copy that. Hmm. Oh well. This is what happens when you're just tapping. Okay, but that... Let's see. Right, and Mr. The Cure at once. Yes, Captain. All right, yes, Captain. And we've got this interesting eyed person. Is that eyelashes? General Contractor, Corguin. When it comes to work, he's thorough, fast, reckless, and presumptuous, which also describes his plan to build houses here. No. Our work doesn't end here. It's our duty to care for and protect anyone we've rescued and hear what they have to say. Right, so he's into the Dandori. Hey, thanks for the sweet rescue. I'm a general contractor over at Moyama Construction. The name's Corwin. Just like rescuing folks, construction is all about using your imagination and Dandori powers to get the job done. I was thinking you and I could join forces and train for Dandori battles together. Let's get these imagination juices flowing. What do you mean? Now we're talking. Plus, if we do this, there's a super sweet reward in it for you. Hey there, the results you've had in Dandori battles are nothing to scoff at. Way to go. There's a little something just for you. But back to the reason we're here. Let's train those Dendori muscles. Yeah. So can I go back and repeat the one I did poorly on? Oh, no. That wasn't a Dendori battle. It was just a Dendori. All right. So. Oh. All set for now? We'll see you later. I think I'm going to do some of this stuff off camera. So I'm gonna go ahead, oh wait, one second, is 80 enough for the more health for our guy? Yeah, tough stuff. And tough stuff plus. Alright. So I'm gonna do a little bit of off-screen stuff. I'm gonna 
uh, rescue these two people, do the nighttime things, and I'm going to do the Dendori thing uh, battle off camera. Uh, ooh, I've got one of these as well. Sorry, so much stuff for Ochi. Got him a new collar. Let's uh, get him. Do we want damage or health? Um, or we could max out this one and unlock a new thing. Ah, so hard to choose. Or we can max out one of these and see what, um, gets unlocked from there. Oh man, so much to do. Hmm. Man, I'm having a hard time. Okay, let's do that. A pluck and a pluck to max that out. And see what happens from there. Okay, nothing gets unlocked. Okay, let's go ahead and get dig as well. Let's just like go from the cheapest to the most expensive, essentially, based on what's also interesting within that tier. And picking up, you know, important things when we just need one rank here and there. All right. So, with all that figured out, yeah, I'm going to go offline, go, you know, do some work offline, and um, I'll come back later. And tomorrow, you'll see the progress I made. All right? I'll see you guys there. Bye.